What's up, everybody? Uh, almost lost the door. JT here. Good to see everybody again. It's been a while. Um, I could kind of explain some of that. Well, uh, um, if you guys don't know, my son, Jesse, he's got a bunch of videos on here, too, of uh, him shooting his uncle's AR-15, him getting his dirt bike, him racing for the first time. So, basically, uh, he's six years old, and uh, he's been wanting his own YouTube channel, like, forever. Turn this down for you guys. So, basically... Uh, that's what I've been doing this last week is setting up his YouTube channel for him and I did and he's got like 12 something videos on it already you got to remember he he's six years old so he really likes playing video games so it's like a gaming channel um, the channel is called Minecraft Kid Jesse two words so go check it out go subscribe to my son um, it's not just gaming on it I also put uh, his motocross on there uh, him shooting his 22, the AR-15, um, what else does he have on it? Just a bunch of little stuff, you know, that kids like to do. It's it's a cool channel. It's really cool. You guys might dig it. But uh, anyways, it's been a while for me since I've done a video. I can't even remember the last video that I did. Oh, my God. What was the last video? Pfft, I can't even tell you. I'd have to go back and check. I'm not even sure. But uh, I know it's been something like a few weeks, two, three weeks or something like that. I'm in the garage. If you can't tell. Ugh, um, oh, is that the last video I did? I think the last video I might have did was a Lackanac tent. But anyways, um, I'm doing a video for you guys today. It kind of has something to do with that tent um i ordered the uh hq issues uh outdoor series wood stove for the tent so we'll see how that is um should be here any minute uh it's on the truck right now for delivery on fedex it's about 8 30 normally fedex comes up here you know around 9 10 so yeah, basically that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. We're just waiting for the FedEx guy. Um, as soon as he gets here, we'll do an opening. I'll open up the box, I'll set it up for you guys. And I got so much extra wood in the side yard from you know doing all these projects recently. So there's nothing but a bunch of extra wood in the side yard that we need to get rid of and it's all basically small blocks small pieces of wood all little stuff so today i'm just gonna burn it out of the stove so yeah you guys will see me set it up open up the box set it up show you guys everything and then we'll do a little fire um i got a oh my god what are those things called uh percolator i got a coffee percolator i'm gonna go ahead and while the fire is going i'm gonna make some coffee on it and see how it goes just kind of test making the coffee get ready for hunting season big bummer about hunting season everybody uh none of us drew tags uh i drew for antelope horn shorter than ears and mule deer antlered of course again for any legal weapon and we didn't draw any tags we had four people in our group draw no tags so basically this year it's looking like it's all about dove and duck season which i'm fine with because i'm obsessed with duck hunting that is my all-time favorite i love big game hunting but here in nevada it is so damn hard to get a tag you're not guaranteed tags every year so you gotta kind of in nevada be more of an outdoorsman other than just a big game hunter you know you guys here in Nevada, it's really hard that with that draw system. So for me, duck season is a big deal. It's four months out of the year, guaranteed, tags over the counter. So yeah, I'm stoked about that. But uh, yeah, no tags this year, uh, no big game hunting, which is a bummer because that's kind of why I got rid of the tent trailer and then purchased the Lackanac tent was so we'll actually be warm hunting in October, November, December time, but no tags. So that's not going to happen. We are going camping on Father's Day, which is the 18th, I believe. Not this weekend. Next weekend, which is cool because it's just going to be me and my girl. 
and it's gonna be us using the tent for the first time and the stove, of course. So, yeah. I'm just hanging out in the garage, drinking my coffee, waiting for the FedEx guy. So, as soon as it gets here, we'll see you guys. Peace. So, of course, about... Uh, I don't know, when was that? Probably about 25, 30 minutes ago. I'm just chilling out here with Minecraft Kid Jesse. He's out riding his bike. Um, of course, a FedEx truck goes by, drives by, right? And I'm like, cool. He's probably stopping down here at the cul-de-sac, drop something off for these people, and then he's going to come up to me, drop off my stuff. So I open up the garage for him, ready for it, and he just drives by staring at me. <laughs> That's a bunch of bull crap. <laughs> so apparently my package wasn't on that truck. It wasn't a it wasn't like the big FedEx truck. It was like the smaller one and I'm thinking uh ours is on the big one because the package says it weighs like 50 pounds. So I'm assuming it's on the big truck and not the little one. But screw you little truck for getting our hopes up. <laughs> so we're still waiting for FedEx. So hurry up. What's up YouTube, JT here with Minecraft Kid Jesse and FedEx finally arrived. The HQ stove is here. We're gonna do an opening for you guys, show you everything that it comes with and then do a time lapse video of us putting it together. Sound good? All right, let's open this thing, huh? Now, what's really cool on this was this was only 119 bucks and then the shipping was free I believe so you know 120 bucks and from all the other stoves that I saw to me this one looked like it was going to be the best one mm -hmm. at least heavy duty wise anyways Pipes. Wow, it's nice. Uh -huh. So here's the assembly instructions, which I'm sure we're not really gonna need. Just put some legs on it and put the pipes on. I love these. Can we keep these poppers? Shows everything that it comes with. I want to keep these poppers. Oh, well, we're gonna have to turn this thing upside down a little bit. Hold on. Yeah. Wow, it's, it feels really heavy duty. I mean, it says 50 pounds. It's definitely 50 pounds. Probably a million pounds. Yeah. Hold on, easy. Let's see if we can pull it that way. Yeah, here, let me lift it up and you can pull. All right. Yes. Wow, look at that. Guys. Is it upside down or? Oh. Yeah, it's upside down. Oh, wow, that's. Oh, really? Oh, I saw somebody on YouTube. Um, got got these smaller one with that, yeah. and he made real lava with a fidget spinner. Oh, cool. Well, it's upside down right now, but man, this thing is. Wow. That's like cast iron. It's the, wow. The door is really nice. It's wow. Looks like the piping. Wow, wow. Everything yes. comes in here. Could be a tool or leg. Here, I'll give you all the wrapping, Jesse, and then you put it in. In the box. Wow, it this is like. So there's one, two, three. Looks like we got five pipes. Oh, here's the top here. Yeah. That's the very top. Yeah. What's this? Oh, cool. What? Uh, I guess it comes with a little, like, fire stick thing so you don't, you know, push it yeah. or get all the dust out. You know, that's yeah. a really neat tool for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest with you guys, YouTube, um, for the price of this, it's pretty, pretty insane to me. I mean, that's heavy duty, really nice. 
cast iron door. I mean, come on. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we got the legs. Have you found any bolts or anything? Is there bolts in there? No. Let me check real quick. Nope. No bolts in here. I think I have bike bolts. Uh, it should come. Maybe? If not, I got bolts. I know that. But... Let's see. Oh, there they are, right there. Okay, so yeah, it did come with bolts. Um, comes with five pieces of pipe, the stove itself, the legs, and then the bolts. So I mean, for $119, come on, that's awesome. So uh, let's set this thing up, do a time lapse video, huh? Yeah. And then what's really cool, like I said, I got all, all that extra wood in the backyard, so we're gonna get this thing set up and then get it going. So we'll yeah, see you guys soon. together stand next to it so we can see how big it is it's a good size I mean for the tent we got it's gonna heat it up like crazy we only got a 12 by 12 Lackanac tent that you guys seen but it's perfect this thing but not on my channel no. this channel so the next thing we're gonna do is put it outside and get a fire started yeah 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 all right we'll see you guys out there all right, we are out here, and we're burning some wood. It feels nice. It definitely puts off a lot of heat. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's the heat that it's putting off is amazing. It's got these air ductors I'm getting, so you know, so you can do the te change the temperature, get the right airflow in there, make it burn fast or slow. So yeah, those are really nice. The only thing I really didn't like was the handle here. Definitely gonna probably like drill a hole in it and then get something on it just because it gets a little hot. But it's burning really good and it puts off a really good amount of heat. Very surprised. The stainless steel door is awesome. And there's no smoke coming out of the cracks, but it is burning off some of the paint right now. The only issue that we didn't really like was uh, putting the legs on. The bolts that it came with, it was just Allen bolts, and it didn't come with like a lock nut or anything like that. So you almost had to like kind of strip them just to get them in. So if you do get this, I recommend not tighten it, tight, tightening it down too hard because it will just strip and be too loose. And that, that happened to us on one of the bolts, so not too bad. But basically, that's the only thing I gotta say that's not good on it is the legs and then the handle. But we'll fix that. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, the review. If you guys are looking to get a pot belly stove, I definitely recommend the H HQ issue. So, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever.